our planet is overflowing with natural mysteries, magnificence, and breathtaking splendor. Join me as I uncover the 50 greatest natural wonders of the world. Number 50, the Matterhorn. We're kicking things off with one of the most iconic mountains in the world. Its summit rises almost 4,500 meters above sea level, and its four distinctive sides point in each of the cardinal directions, north, south, east, and west. The Matterhorn is the jewel of the Alps, well known for being the logo on Toblerone chocolate bars. It's a dangerous location to visit, but in the nearby town of Zermatt in Switzerland, travelers can get an amazing view of this eye-catching mountain. Number 49, Angel Falls. Spoiler alert, there's more than one waterfall on this list, but in terms of sheer height, Angel Falls takes the prize. Located in the Amazonian heart of Venezuela, this is the highest uninterrupted waterfall in the world, 979 meters in all, flowing from the top of a table mountain into the aptly named Devil's Canyon. It's a difficult place to reach, but hardy travelers will be rewarded with a dazzling sight as the waters transform into a thin mist before crashing into a pool at the bottom. Number 48, the Northern Lights. One of the most incredible light shows in the world, the Northern Lights, or Aurora Borealis, are not tied to any specific place or even one country. They can be seen from locations all across the Arctic Circle, from Lapland in Sweden to Fairbanks in Alaska. Although they look amazing, you might be wondering what exactly are they? This unforgettable sight is the result of solar winds interacting with Earth's magnetic field, creating a kaleidoscope of colors that have fascinated curious humans for thousands of years. Number 47, Pamukkale. Turkey is packed with gorgeous natural sights, but the mythical location of Pamukkale is possibly the most visually striking of them all. A natural jacuzzi of sorts, these thermal springs have drawn visitors to southwestern Turkey since the days of ancient Greece. Pamukkale's terraces were formed by centuries of deposits from mineral water that springs up from the Earth's core. It's a relatively easy place to visit, and you can even enjoy a dip in the revitalizing mineral water. Number 46, the Giant's Causeway. On Northern Ireland's windswept coast, you can discover an unusual rock formation that has etched its way into the shared imagination of the Irish. Legend has it that these hexagonal basalt pillars were built as a pathway by the Irish giant Finn McCool in order to fight a Scottish giant on the other side of the narrow sea. Geologists may have a different story to tell, but Giant's Causeway is nonetheless one of the most striking natural rock formations on our planet. Number 45. Plitvice Lakes. The largest national park in Croatia is home to an incredible system of terraced lakes and waterfalls held in place by natural limestone dams deposited over millennia. While the Plitvice Lakes are beautiful in their own right, the park is also home to a plethora of animals, including wild wolves and several species of endangered birds. The lakes are open to the public, but they are closely protected to conserve the delicate mosses, algae, and bacteria that have produced this natural wonder. Number 44, Geyser Hot Springs. At first, it might look like Icelanders dropped a ton of blue dye into these thermal springs, but let me assure you, they are 100% real. There are around 30 geysers scattered around this area, but the most attractive by far is Stroker. This iconic geyser blasts huge jets of hot water up to 30 meters in the air, erupting as frequently as every five minutes. Nearby, you can also find the original Great Geyser, which gave its name to geysers all across the world. Number 43, the Uyuni Salt Flats. Depending on the day, Bolivia's salt flats can range from looking like the surface of an alien planet to an ocean-sized silver mirror. It is the largest salt flat on the planet, spanning an area roughly the same size as Qatar. These amazing flats are the remnants of prehistoric lakes, which evaporated over time, leaving a thick crust of salt. And by the way, yes, if you lick the ground at the Uyuni Flats, it will taste extremely salty. Number 42, Mount Fuji. The snow-capped cone of Mount Fuji has become one of the most recognizable images of natural beauty in the world and a powerful symbol of the entire country of Japan. 
Due to its proximity to Tokyo and its obvious beauty, Fuji has become deeply embedded in Japanese culture, folklore, and religion. In fact, it's so alluring that many people forget that it's an active volcano. Not to worry, though, its last eruption was all the way back in 1708. Number 41, Ha Long Bay. This inlet is one of the most enchanting sights that Vietnam has to offer. Its blue-green waters are dotted by roughly 1,600 islands, forming a maze of caves, cliffs, and arches, which are often shrouded in fog that floats in from the South China Sea. The fishermen that use the bay live harmoniously with nature, often on floating villages, so despite human activity on the water, the many islands of Ha Long Bay remain relatively pristine and unaffected. Number 40. Waitomo Glowworm Caves Although it's best known for its picturesque valleys and mountains worthy of the Academy Award for Best Picture, some of Newland's most significant sites lie below ground. You'll need a boat ride to reach Waitomo's lower caves, which are illuminated by the eerie light of thousands of glowworms. They're about the same size as an adult mosquito, but the sheer number of glowworms makes for one of the most breathtaking cave explorations on the planet. Number 39, Iguazu Falls. Located on the border between Argentina and Brazil, this stupendous basin of crashing water makes up the largest waterfall system in the world. The falls were supposedly formed by a spurned god who split the river into two levels when his lover fled down the Iguazu River in a canoe with a mortal man. The Iguazu Falls are an example of some of the incredible things that are hidden in the world's wildest places. They can be observed by humans, but never fully tamed. Before we continue, if you're enjoying this video, would you do me a huge favor and smash that like button and subscribe to our channel so you're always first in line to watch our newest videos? I greatly appreciate it. Okay, back to the countdown. Number 38, the Great Blue Hole. Like the pupil in the eye of some great underwater giant, this enormous sinkhole off the coast of Belize was hundreds of thousands of years in the making. Despite its shockingly dark appearance, the Great Blue Hole bottoms out at just 124 meters and has become a popular location for scuba divers. As you dive down into the royal blue depths, you can discover several species of Caribbean fish and ridges in the basin's walls that indicate its ancient past, when sea levels on Earth were far lower than today. Number 37, the Wave. Located in the sun-scorched regions of northern Arizona, the Wave is a picturesque rock formation that really has to be seen to be believed. Due to heavy footfall, there is a literal lottery deciding who gets to visit the Wave, followed by a long and difficult hike that many have failed. If you get your chance, it's definitely worth taking. Layers of stone have been eroded over thousands of years, creating a scene that looks truly like a dream. Number 36. Lake Lemuria. Sitting at the base of the Crimean Peninsula in Ukraine, Lake Lemuria is a stunning example of a pink lake colored by the blooming of rare algae. Remarkably, the hotter the weather is, the more intensely colored the lake gets. The water is incredibly rich in minerals, and local legends about the healing properties of the lake were eventually proven to be true, as mud from the bottom of Lake Lemuria was approved for use as a cosmetic product. Number 35, Victoria Falls. Situated on the border between Zambia and Zimbabwe, Victoria Falls is a haven for rare native wildlife and one of the biggest waterfalls in the world. Although it's not the highest or the widest, its height and width added together result in the world's largest sheet of falling water. In the local Sotho language, Victoria Falls is known as the Smoke That Thunders an apt name for such a deafening, awe-inspiring waterfall. Number 34, Milford Sound. When we think of fjords, we usually conjure up images of Nordic countries. However, the majestic country of New Zealand, almost the opposite of the world, has its own famous fjords. Milford Sound, or Pio Pio Tahi, is widely regarded as New Zealand's most beautiful nature spot, which says a lot. From the ocean, the fjords appear unremarkable, but as you enter, they open up into monumental towering bays, guaranteed to take your breath away. Number 33, Mount Vesuvius. Most famous for being the volcano that destroyed the ancient Roman city of Pompeii, 
Vesuvius is a stunning sight to this day. Its scarred surface is evidence of its violent past, marked by lava flows and gigantic craters from ancient eruptions. In fact, it's the only volcano in Europe to erupt in the last century. So part of the exhilarating risk of seeing Vesuvius in the flesh is the reminder that it could still erupt in the near future. Number 32, the Cliffs of Moher. On the rugged western shoreline of Ireland, 14 kilometers of imperious cliffs tower above the wild Atlantic Ocean. The Cliffs of Moher reach up to 214 meters above the waves and serve as a safe house for a variety of bird life, including the handsome Atlantic Puffin. The cliffs are easily reachable with public transport and you can walk their entire length, but if it's a windy day, you might want to keep away from the edge. Number 31, the Galapagos Islands. These islands off the coast of Ecuador are one of the main reasons why we have a theory of evolution. Incredibly beautiful in their own sight, the Galapagos Islands are best known for teeming with rare wildlife, including giant tortoises, iguanas, and flightless cormorants. It's one of Earth's paradise islands, a living, breathing example of the incredible diversity of our planet. At the same time, its ecosystem is extremely fragile, and plants and animals introduced by humans are one of the island's greatest current threats. Number 30, the Northern Cascades. These snow-capped peaks span the American and Canadian border, running roughly north to south. They are notoriously difficult to traverse, but skilled mountaineers are rewarded with grandiose views of untamed wilderness and some of the most awe-inspiring environments on the North American continent, ranging from thick forests to glaciers. For the most part, the Cascades are not volcanic, but there are a few volcanoes scattered amongst them, including Glacier Peak and the snow-covered summit of Mount Baker. Number 29, the Amalfi Coast. Even if you took away the winding seaside roads, the picturesque towns that cascade down to the ocean, and the delightful Italian meatballs, the Amalfi Coast would still be considered one of our planet's natural wonders. Its azure waters have earned it the nickname the Divine Coast. The Latari Mountains, which form the spine of this entire peninsula, create an incredible vertical effect, with a narrow strip of land between sea and mountain, and views unlike anything else in the world. Number 28, Lake Titicaca. The largest lake on the entire continent of South America and one of the highest elevation lakes in the world at 3,800 meters above sea level. It's long been a hotspot for human activity. In ancient times, the majestic lake was a spiritual focal point for the Incas, and today its shores are dotted with towns and cities. Being nestled in the Andes between Bolivia and Peru, Lake Titicaca is surrounded by snow-capped mountains and clouds, making it seem all that closer to heaven. Number 27, the Atacama Desert. Behold, the driest place in the world. Some weather stations in the Atacama have never seen rain. This barren desert stretches from the foot of the Andes Mountains to the Chilean coast, covering a tract of land larger than the entire country of Iceland. Life here is so harsh and unforgiving that the Atacama Desert has been used in experiments as a placeholder for the surface of Mars. Impossibly, though, there is life. Small rodents, shrubs, and the occasional tree prove that life can survive in incredible adversity. Number 26, Baku's Mud Volcanoes. There are over a thousand mud volcanoes in the world, and roughly 400 of them lie along the Azerbaijani coast. The Baku archipelago shows an intense concentration of these bubbling pits, and several of its islands were created by mud volcano eruptions built up over time. Although these alien-looking formations are usually found in rural areas and rarely pose danger to humans, they can erupt without warning, as pockets of gas force their way up through soft parts in the Earth's surface. Number 25, the Cliffs of Dover. These sheer white cliffs have become one of the enduring images of Britain's rugged natural beauty and a comforting sight for any weary British traveler making their way back home. They appear to rise straight out of the water like a giant frothing wave almost 100 meters in height. Often described as the best place to walk in the entire country, the cliffs span 22 kilometers on England's southern coast 
and host a wide variety of birds and beautiful wildflowers. Number 24, Table Mountain. This flat-topped mountain overlooking Cape Town has such a severe plateau that it almost looks like a glitch in a video game. Flanked by Devil's Peak to the east and Lion's Head to the west, Table Mountain's flat top stretches roughly three kilometers in length, ending in sharp, vertical cliffs. Its thrilling location only adds to the allure, a flat-topped mountain at the Cape of Good Hope, surrounded by the crashing seas that batter the southernmost tip of Africa. Number 23, Uluru. There are few landmarks in the world as iconic as this giant sandstone rock in the arid center of Australia's outback. Uluru, also known as Ayers Rock, rises almost 350 meters into the air and extends even further underground. To give you a sense of the scale, this enormous monolith takes three and a half hours to walk around. It is also vitally important in the folklore of Australia's indigenous people, who view it as the crossroads for all the sacred paths that cross Australia's desert-like interior. Number 22, the Rio de Janeiro Harbor. There's a reason why Rio is such a popular destination for beach holidays, and it's not just the scenic cityscape, vibrant culture, and welcoming attitude of the Brazilian people. In terms of water volume, Guanabara Bay is the largest bay in the world, and even if the city of Rio disappeared today, the pristine water and sandy Copacabana Beach would still blow you away. The nearby peak, Sugarloaf Mountain, is the cherry on top, adding an immense sense of scale to the entire bay. Number 21, the giant sequoia forests. Few things on our planet instill a bigger sense of wonder and inner peace than the redwood forests of California. Among the numerous groves that grow in the rolling landscape of Sierra Nevada, you can discover the world's tallest living tree, Hyperion. This redwood rises 116 meters into the sky, taller than the length of an American football field. These trees have seen civilizations rise and fall and the oldest, mere snag, dead but still standing, is estimated to be 3,500 years old. Number 20, Antarctica. It might seem contentious to include an entire continent on this list, but Antarctica is a natural wonder in itself. It is the coldest, driest, and windiest of all of Earth's continents, and is home to an ecosystem unlike any other on the planet. It's not the easiest place to visit, but that is part of the allure. Most animals from Antarctica exist in a bubble of their own, coming from ancestors who have lived in this harsh environment for millions of years. Number 19, Mount Kilimanjaro. This enormous dormant volcano in Tanzania is one of the enduring symbols of Africa and is actually made up of three separate volcano cones. Kibo, the highest, reaches almost 6,000 meters above sea level, making it the highest peak on the continent. Due to its sheer size, almost every kind of ecological system can be found on Kilimanjaro. Rainforest, moorland, alpine desert, an arctic peak, and cultivated land, where maize and bananas are grown to this day. Now, a brief interlude. If you're enjoying the video so far, I have a little favor to ask you. Could you hit the subscribe button and tick the little bell next to it? It turns on notifications so you'll know exactly when our next video is available for you to watch. It's a huge help to my channel. Thanks so much, and let's get back to the list. Number 18, Mount Olympus. From the highest peak in Africa to one of the most culturally significant mountains in Europe, Olympus is a complicated network of valleys and gorges with 52 peaks in all. After seeing how it looms over the rest of the landscape, you can understand why the ancient Greeks called it the home of the gods. It's the highest peak in modern day Greece and home to a variety of native plant species, which visitors are absolutely forbidden to take from this sacred site. Number 17, Prykestolen. Located in Norway's deep maze of fjords, islands, inlets, and awe-inspiring cliffs, you can discover Prykestolen, also known as Pulpit Rock. From the closest car park, a hike to this stunning location takes about two to three hours and 334 meters of uphill walking. Not a trip for the faint-hearted, and to be perfectly honest, neither is the heart-stopping view at the summit. From the top, you can see all the way down Leisfjord, one of Norway's national treasures and most picturesque fjords. 
Number 16, Bora Bora. The Pacific Ocean holds a wealth of atolls, islands, and stunning archipelagos, but few can hold a flame to the beauty of Bora Bora, a veritable jewel in the French Polynesian islands. Its central island is formed around an extinct volcano, which in turn is surrounded by a shallow ultramarine lagoon and a tropical barrier reef populated with hundreds of species of vibrantly colored fish. Bora Bora is not an easy place to reach, but that hasn't stopped it from attracting hundreds of thousands of tourists every year. Number 15, Mount Rorea. Thanks to its isolated location, this unusually shaped mountain is a prehistoric museum of sorts, hosting a unique collection of flora and fauna that are rarely found anywhere else. This monumental sandstone slab is located at the intersection of Guyana, Brazil, and Venezuela, and requires a big commitment to climb. It takes approximately a week to scale this monolith, with frightening drops of up to 400 meters on each side of the plateau. Number 14, Okavango Delta. This is one of the few river deltas in the world that does not flow into a sea or an ocean. The resulting wetlands are home to a cornucopia of wildlife and vegetation, a who's who of Botswana and the entire African continent. The delta has been cross-examined and documented in incredible length, but part of its wonder is the fact that it's in a constant state of change. Every season, its complex system of rivers and channels transforms into something new. Number 13, the Valley of Flowers. This heavenly valley is a hidden Indian gem in the passageway between the Zanskar and Himalayan mountain ranges. Its gentle slopes are a stark contrast to many of the dramatic landscapes in this video, but the real wonder of this valley is the variety of native flowers that grow here. In the summer, the sides of the valley turn phenomenal shades of pink, blue, yellow, and green, well worth the 17-kilometer trek from the nearest town. Number 12, Denali. From gentle fields of flowers to a dramatic snowscape, formerly known as Mount McKinley, this is the highest mountain peak in North America, located in the cold interior of Alaska. Denali rises almost 5,000 meters above the snow line, giving it a lonely, majestic appearance that has become the stuff of legend for the native Koyukon people. In fact, the name Denali simply means the tall one, and folklore tells that the peak was once an enormous wave that turned into stone. Number 11, the Dead Sea. This is one of the few locations on this list that is not famous for its biodiversity. As you can tell from the name, it's the exact opposite. The Dead Sea is the world's deepest hypersaline lake, lying directly between the countries of Jordan and Israel. It's packed with salt, 10 times more than the ocean. Flora and fauna cannot live in its waters, and the thousands of swimmers that visit each year can't sink, even if they try. Number 10, Yellowstone National Park. A supervolcano, the famous Old Faithful Geyser, and a Grand Canyon are just three of the things that make Yellowstone such an incredible location to visit. It spans an area of 9,000 square kilometers, making it about the same size as the island of Cyprus in the Mediterranean. One of the most iconic sites in the park is the Grand Prismatic Spring, a geothermal hotspot surrounded by an incredibly vivid ring of mineral-rich waters. Number 9. The Chocolate Hills Legend has it that this land used to be a playground for giant children, and the Chocolate Hills are gigantic baked mud cakes left out to dry in the sun. These cartoonish rolling hills can be found in the Bohol Island province in the Philippines, each one is almost perfectly symmetrical and covered in layers of grass, which turn from a gorgeous green to a deep cocoa shade of brown in the dry season, hence the name. Number 8. Zhongji Aje National Forest Park If you've ever wondered where James Cameron got the inspiration for the dreamlike alien landscapes of Avatar, you're looking at it right now. Zhongji Aje Forest Park in China is home to some simply incredible floating pillars, tangled with vines and often shrouded in a ghostly mist. For the brave, there's even a knee-trembling glass bridge that offers unparalleled views of the park. These pillars are the result of erosion, hundreds of years of cracking ice, flowing streams and foliage, tearing solid rock into stunning vertical towers. 
Number seven, Niagara Falls. This is our last and most iconic set of waterfalls on the list, which has been capturing the public's imagination ever since their discovery by Europeans at least in the 17th century. They have served as the ultimate symbol of man versus nature, as various foolhardy individuals have challenged the falls over the years, walking tight ropes, attempting barrel plunges, or simply jumping over the edge. More than anything, Canada's Niagara Falls are famed for their terrifying beauty, as 3,000 tons of water flow over the falls every single second. Number six, Grand Canyon. In the middle of Northern Arizona's stunning landscape lies one of the most impressive panoramas on the entire planet. 446 kilometers long, 29 wide, and nearly two kilometers deep, the Grand Canyon has been carved out of the land by the relentless Colorado River over a time span of millions of years. It has served as a place of pilgrimage for both Native Americans and international tourists, providing a sharp reminder of nature's might. Number five, Ngorongoro Crater. It might look like it was struck by a meteor, but this crater is actually the colossal remains of a long collapsed supervolcano. Since then, Ngorogoro has become a haven for Tanzanian wildlife, home to countless species of large mammals. For humans, standing on the monumental rim and soaking in the entire crater is simply a deeply humbling experience. Restrictions on human settlement and farming within the crater ensure that this amazing ecosystem will still be around long after we're gone. Number four, the Sahara Desert. Covering 8% of the Earth's total land area, the Sahara Desert is a monumental testament to nature's extremes. Its breathtaking panoramas, perpetually shifting sand seas, and inhospitable environment have served as a constant reminder of mankind's vulnerability in the face of sublime natural forces. However, it is also a source of life. Various species of flora and fauna, as well as nomadic desert cultures, have learned how to survive in this harsh land against all odds. Number three, Mount Everest. This is the big one. Earth's tallest mountain, towering so high into the stratosphere that the air pressure at the top is about one third of what it is at sea level. The Tibetan name for Everest translates to Holy Mother, possibly referring to the first two words that came out of the mouths of the first people who saw this thing. Though it has now been conquered by mountaineers, it remains unmatchable, a mythical, awe-inspired place, and a sublime symbol of nature's immensity. Number two, the Great Barrier Reef. This monumental collection of coral is one of the few underwater structures that can be seen from space. It stretches across 2,300 kilometers off the coast of Queensland, Australia, and hosts a cornucopia of plant and animal life. Although sadly, the living foundation of this coral wonder is being rapidly destroyed by pollution. While it is unbelievably beautiful, the barrier reef serves as a reminder of mankind's destructive effect on our seas and a lesson for our near future. Number one, the Amazon rainforest. Now, this list was not intended to be written in order, but there could only ever be one natural wonder in the number one slot. The Amazon is the biggest and most diverse stretch of rainforest on the planet, containing more trees than there are neurons in the human brain. This really is an ecosystem larger than anything we can comprehend, with new species being discovered by scientists every other day. The Amazon's vast ecosystems have barely been observed by humans, making them the perfect representation of the beauty and mystery of nature. Now I have a question for you. Have you ever been to any of these natural wonders? Did I forget any? If so, let me know in the comments and let's start a conversation. And if you enjoyed the video, would you do me a huge favor and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of our newest videos? I greatly appreciate it. Safe travels. And until next time, remember to always keep wandering with purpose. I'll catch you in the next one.